Uh, hey everyone, uh, William here. Uh, I am just gonna show you guys uh, kind of some of the stuff we're working on with invert mode and how in this test build you can switch out uh, between the different modes and sort of stuff I'm stuff to look out for. So basically, uh, you know, WSD mouse to look around, E to interact with stuff. Uh, so you gotta hit F1. And that'll bring up this invert mode panel on the top left. Um, basically, so if you hit, uh, now there's a, you can kind of hit these different buttons and switch between so, so uh, this is, you know, changing player gravity. Uh, you can also F3, that'll change the gravity of cubes. Now, this is all stuff that would only matter once we're in invert mode. So to go inside invert mode, you can hit and then uh f4 that's also like it swaps the um the gravity between ceiling and floor i'm not sure why the shadow is disappearing but anyway um <clears throat> you can also choose how you enter invert mode uh, so there's box button portal uh really this one just leave it in box for now and then f6 you can choose how you exit so box button fade continuous fade dropbox and falling and portal uh, i'll go over these in just a bit so if you're just kind of testing wanting to see what going to invert mode looks like just hit u and that'll send you into invert mode and then u again will bring you back out um so now right now enter method box means that i will enter into invert mode if i just kind of pick up this box um and the exit method is box so if i pick up a normal box that'll send me back into normal mode and it'll reset the position of the invert box so you can kind of you know switch back and forth between these two so i'm trying to figure out how to enter and exit into the invert mode so this is sort of uh, my way of trying to answer that question the reason why i don't like this mode is that if you don't have a normal box around um you basically are stuck in invert mode like you know if you end up if you're in invert mode and you go inside a room uh and uh you don't have any normal boxes around then then you're stuck in invert mode and you can't get back out so i'm not not a huge fan of of this but i do like the way sort of the idea of picking up objects to enter into different uh modes the uh so the button enter method is basically the same as this if you like press a button and then you you would go into invert mode and then the portal it's like there's a door and you walk through it and then you'd be in invert mode so that's really more just like walking into a trigger and then having the mode switch now the other issue is so let's check out uh fade continuous so what fade continuous means is if i go inside invert mode then there's just a set time uh where i can be inside it so you can see as soon as I enter, there's going to be this, you can see it sort of slowly fading into white and it doesn't really matter what I do. I can drop this box. I can pick up normal boxes. None of that's going to matter. Uh, I basically, so it's basically like you have a set time period when you're inside in remote to do stuff. And now I'm also trying to answer the question of like what objectives should happen when you're inside in remote, right? Maybe you grab a box and you bring it to a shelf, place it there or something. Um, so yeah, this is eventually, it's going to go to white and then that will fade you back into inner mode and reset your position. So right now I'm just kind of wandering around here. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of, so yeah, this is all world wrappings working. And come on, hurry up and fade back into white. Okay, so there... Okay, that's class screwed up a bit, but um, you know we are gonna go back here, and we are gonna do fade Dropbox exit method. So what if happens with fade Dropbox is you start the fade box white when you drop the invert box, but as soon as you pick it up, you are reset. And the idea here is like basically dropping the invert box. It forces you to always carry the invert box inside invert mode. But, you know, it's a, it's a bit forgiving, so if you accidentally drop the box, you're not going to get reset, right? Like, you still have time to...
correct your mistake, but there's not really enough time for you to like do anything else. So um, anyway, let's drop that and then go back to normal mode. Then the final method, and again, I'm just hitting F6 to swap between. So I do this. What happens is this is falling, and you'll notice that the wool wrapping has disappeared. And in this mode, if you, you the way you exit it is you fall off the world and instead of the world repeating, it fades you back into this. Now, um, one thing we've added is uh, you can actually hit the C button to jump. And right now, it, it you can actually just kind of keep, keep hitting C and it'll, it'll keep sending you up. It's basically just sending you an impulse. Uh, I think it's actually going to whirl wrap me because um, I crossed the boundary. But um, let's go back. So if you want to adjust the height, the, it's a set. You uh, hit the tilde button. Uh, and that'll bring up this uh, console set jump force. Uh, the default is is 25. Uh, maybe if you want to go a little lower, I mean, let's do 20. Or if you want to make it go crazy, but um, oops. So again, there's so there's jumping, which I might add because I was thinking if we go inside invert mode, and uh, you are basically stuck, um, right and at this height because you can't. You can't use the wool wrapping to get yourself higher. Um, so I was thinking, you know, if you can, if we can add jumping. So you got to hit C. It's not spacebar. Um, it is. It is definitely like funky. Um, you know, I'm, I'm. I'm not. Oh right, if you hold down Shift, you can run. But I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of platforming elements so however it is pretty interesting this way um anyway that's uh that that's that's all i've got for invert mode uh, i'd love to have you guys just kind of play around with the build and see see what you guys think um and i will talk to you guys later